Hey, I'm Mary back with another video. The other day is coming to a close, so I thought I'd make this video. While I was in the shower, I was thinking about, you know, some of the tactics that some of these cults use. And it's very confusing, you know, when, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm... <sighs> I'm a very peaceful person, okay? I don't care what other people believe. I really don't. But the tactics that some of these people use under the name of Christianity is absolutely shocking to me. Like, you know, some of these people... It's getting to the point where you can't trust people anymore. Like, um, some of these groups, like, you know, groups that meet up, you know, um, are infiltrated by some of these... Fanatics, like for example, I'm not an atheist, okay, but I highly suspect that there's a lot of these fanatical people who come into these groups and posing, you know, as like for example, if you're an atheist or whatever, then you get some of these people who are posing to be members, and I, I suspect that this does happen. I'm not saying it does, but I suspect that it does, okay? And I suspect that, you know, some of these people act as like, you know, some sort of agent or whatever because these people are literally living in a world of ignorance like they think that you know if somebody doesn't go to church that it's against the law and in America you have the right to belong to a church or you have the right to not affiliate with a church you have the right to believe whatever you want to okay you could worship a piece of grass you could do whatever you want okay and so this is becoming more and more of a problem I do believe that there's um, what I like to call, you know, these uh, manufactured miracles and contrived curses that work behind the scenes oftentimes when it relates to things and how people live, okay? So, like, for example, if you're a part of the cult, then you get all kinds of provisions made for you. And then if um, you don't are part of the cult, then you basically have to deal with some sort of, you know, backlash, okay? Which, to me, makes absolutely no sense because these people are under some sort of delusion that their prosperity is, in re is a result of their devotion to God when that's not true. There's like, you know, um, it's kind of like Oz, like the story of Oz where there's somebody hiding behind the curtain manipulating everything. That's wrong, okay? You know, and I'm not a difficult person. Some people say, well, just shrug your shoulders, just go to church and let everybody be blah, blah. Okay, I don't want more of those people in my life, okay? I think it's bizarre, okay? Now, I've given church a try. And, you know, um, a lot of churches are corrupt. They are. I'm not saying every church is, but a lot of them are, okay? And it's my choice not to, okay? I, I really don't find any connection with a lot of these people when it comes to their churches. And if they want to continue to go to church, that's fine. That's completely fine. But, you know, trying to manipulate people into a mindset or a group is just plain wrong. It's wrong. It's against everything, okay? Like, Jesus never forced people to go to church, you know? And, you know, here in this country, I've already, we've already talked about it, okay? We have the freedom of religion, period, period. And it shouldn't go any further than that. And yet, I don't understand how these people continually behave this way. Then you got people who are, that live lives where they have strange fetishes, they do bizarre stuff, and yet they still have like this, you know, good standing within their community. And yet they can, and they can t continually call themselves Christians and be fully respected. And then you get somebody who, like myself, who just kind of like goes on, minds their own business, stays home, doesn't do anything, and then everybody wants to attack that person. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And, you know, you can't, I, I, I look at the world and I'm thinking, my God, you know, what kind of world are we living in? You know, I don't want, you know, people to think that I, I just want to keep dragging this whole resentment towards my family on forever. I don't. I want to put it behind me, okay? Um, I'm, I'm looking back on all the things that's happened in my life. And when I really think about all the things that they've done, it just gets to be overwhelming. And it gets to the point where it's like, okay, enough is enough, you know? And I will stand, I'm firm on that. I don't, I have no intentions of ever 
believing and behaving in, in that manner. I will never do that. I will never do that, okay? If I say no, my answer is no. And that goes for everything. You know, I have a right to live my life the way that I want, you know? And I think my life is, is a decent life. You know, I don't hurt anybody. I'm open-minded. I, you know, I don't... Just because somebody doesn't believe what I believe, I'm not ready to attack them, okay? For example, um, I don't know any polygamists, okay? But, and I would not want that for myself, okay? But, like, for example, if I knew a neighbor who was a polygamist, I would still be nice to that person. You know what I mean? I, I, I wouldn't treat them badly. If they needed a favor, I would do that for them. And I wouldn't judge them, okay? I, that's just how I am, okay? I believe in live and let live. Very peaceful person, okay? It shows a, a, a strong, I mean, a, a sense of insecurity when people force their beliefs on you. And, and that's what bothers me so much, you know? It bothers me on so many levels. And, you know, I have every right to be angry. I have every right to be angry. I have every right to be scared because when you deal with this sort of mind control it's absolutely terrifying you know because i think i i, I mean i know okay that i'm thinking with a reasonable logical mind okay but when you're dealing with cults they're not okay because they're going to try to defend their position no matter what even though they have absolutely no basis whatsoever okay so you're dealing with what i consider to be a mental illness okay um this sort of behavior is is absolutely dangerous okay now i i'm not an atheist okay and but i i completely support their right to be one they want to be that way then that's their choice okay i will like to make this this statement that you know statistically speaking there has been more crimes committed by people who call themselves christian than there has been people who are atheists now, that doesn't mean that Christianity is bad, but I'm saying there's a lot of fake Christians out there, okay, that really need to open their eyes and start thinking about really what they stand for and what their beliefs really are. Because there's a lot of things that these people do that I question, you know, and I, I can't help it because, you know, a lot of people who, um, a lot of people, uh, for example, get divorced and they get remarried okay scripturally that's a no-no okay and i'm not trying to nitpick on people and i understand sometimes marriages fall apart whatever okay but the point is is that but you get a lot of these people these so-called christian people who want to bash people who you know for certain things when they themselves are not following in accordance to what you know jesus said so, yeah, I, I can see through hypocrisy. I can see through it right away, you know. And I don't want to be a part of anything that, to me, I can never support and I can never believe in. Now, it's not to say that I don't believe in God, because I do, okay. But I don't believe and I will never support a structure system that is that crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely, um, uh, it's, it's a... I personally think that a lot of people are attracted to these things because, you know, look what it offers you. It offers you the illusion that God gives is granting blessings to these people. It gives you the illusion that you have this great Christian family. Now, I've heard of people who've tried to leave certain churches, and I, I didn't even affiliate, I wasn't even a member of the church, okay? I just simply went to a few churches, try them out or whatever. But there's been people who have left their churches, okay? For example, they put in their resignation letter and they decided to leave a church and then they get cause stocked by that church because, like, they don't want you to leave. Now, that's absolutely crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And it's a cult. I mean, it just is, you know? And a lot of people never think about whether or not, you know, um, if their belief system is correct or not. They don't think about it. They just follow a tradition. And I'm not saying tradition is wrong because I have a lot of respect for tradition. You know, like, for example, there's certain uh, things that I carry out in my life that I would consider ritualistic. For example, Chris Christmas, okay? Now, some people like listening to um, some of the newer Christmas songs. Like, I know Beyonce does Christmas music or whatever. And quite frankly, during my Christmas time, I like my Christmas classics. To me, Christmas is not the same without those kind of classic songs, okay? 
I don't want to ever listen to modern day Christian music. To me, I was raised with like, you know, the Nat Cole. I was raised with like the Bing Crosby. I was raised with those sort of Christmas songs. And of course, you know, Nat, regular old fashioned, like, you know, choir type music that was done during the Christmas season. And that's all I care about. I don't want anything else, okay? So in my way, I have my own tradition, okay? And just like, you know, I respect when, when you see certain families that have family-owned businesses and they, you know, pass that business down to each family member or a woman who um, gets married in the same wedding dress that her mom got married to in and, and her grandmother got married in. I, I have, that's great, okay? But some traditions you have to question, okay? And if it's something that, you know, really looks like it's barbaric, if it looks like it's, it, it affects or it goes against other people's, you know, peace of mind, well-being, and their individual rights, you got to question that stuff. You just do, okay? Uh, Christians are supposed to be peaceable, peaceable people, and they're supposed to be leading by example, okay? And the examples that I saw were absolutely earth-shaking, you know? And I, and I don't have a problem saying that, even faced with all the, the, the problems that I am, because I'm never going to sit here and, and, and resort to that. I, 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 it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. I, to me, being like these people would be taking a step back. It would be, it's, it's, it's like Neanderthal thinking, you know? That's all I'm saying, you know? And I don't, I don't have a problem with people who follow biblical principles. I have no problem with people who, even the, some of the people that deviate from biblical pr principles and they want to do their own thing, okay? As long as they're not affecting, you know, the way that other people live and trampling on their individual rights, you have the right to do that, okay? So that's pretty much my rant for the night, you know? And there's something I just had to express. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.